Hi, I'm Litwarski and I'm going to do a short comparison between two upscaling solutions for the Amiga. <clears throat> the first upscaling solution is the open source scan converter, which is, which is here, you can see it. This is connected to the Amiga by an RGB SCART cable. The other option is to is this uh, RetroThink 2X, which doesn't have an SCART input, but we can use this RGB to component video adapter to connect the Amiga to the RetroThink. So this is these two options or solutions were recommended in a recent 10 minute Amiga Retrocasts video. And I'm going to do a small side by side comparison between the picture quality of these two and some other stuff. So first of all, let's have a look at Slam Tilt. Here you can already notice from the workbench pictures that the uh, retro thing has a little bit brighter picture and that is because of my capture card I think let's talk about that later first we have to uh, look at the high res and low res resolutions and how this how do these upscalers switch between those two resolutions so here here we switch the resolutions a few times and notice that there's really really there is no not much difference between the OSSC and Retrolink. They both sync very fast to the different resolutions. And then you notice that the the brightness issue. For so for my OSSC when I use this with my capture card. The capture card image is always more dim or dimmer than the picture in my television. And I don't know the reason for this, but it seems that the RetroThink signal is uh, the RetroThink signal is better for the capture card because it looks exactly the same on the capture card and the television. But the OSSC signal is a little bit dimmer on the capture card than on the television. So I have to use some filters when using the capture card and the OSSC. Another thing you, can, you may notice is that the, there's some green flicker on the retro thing. Retro things black background. If you look very closely, I'm not sure if it's see seeable at the at the moment, but there is some flicker, and this is also probably due to the capture card. So the, on the television, this flicker doesn't see. There is no flicker. So with that in mind, the if you want to just have a good picture on the television or the monitor, whichever you are using, then the picture seems exactly the same in both cases. But when when you use a capture card, then you have some differences. The OSSC signal is a little bit dim, and the retro things signal has this green flicker in the back. So these are the two things I noticed from these, from playing this stunt tilt. So let's take a look at another game then. Next we will look at the Super Dodge, a public domain game by Chris Underwood. Here the, you can see that the pixel quality is very much the same. 
Only, the only <laughs> difference again is that the OSS has a dimmer picture, but as I said before, it's because of my capture card. For some reason, it's making the OSS signal a little bit dimmer, but on television, the pictures are really the same. <laughs> so let's look at still pixels after this. So before taking a look at the still pictures, I have I have to address a problem I noticed with my OSSC. So let's go to screen modes. And we'll see that uh, I have used I use a PAL high res laced resolution in the workbench, but uh, most of my pictures are NTSC low res pictures. And what happens when I try to test this resolution is that the OSSC doesn't sync at all, and we don't get the picture. So. I don't know the reason for this, but I have to use well, the same would happen for the high res resolution. But from PAL high res laced mode, I can go to NTSC, NTSC high res laced mode. You can see that we test it and there's no problem. So we can take this resolution and use it in a workbench. And after that we can take NTSC low res or high res and test it. And you can see that there's no problem here. So I have to, have, I have to go uh, step by step from PAL high res laced to first uh, NTSC laced mode and then then I can go to the NTSC low res mode. This happens every time so that OSSC wouldn't sync if I go directly from the high res laced mode PAL to a NTSC low res unlaced mode. So with this in mind we can go to check out the pictures. So now let's take a look at the paint pictures. So we have to have NTSC high res laced mode for the OSSC first, but other than that the setup is the same. So the picture quality is is exactly similar in both cases. Then let's take a hammer picture. And lastly, let's take a look at a HAM8 picture. And here, here we notice that now there's some flickering due to the interlacing in both cases. And we try to try to use the D interlacer from the from the capture card. And you can notice that from in the case of OSSC, it doesn't work at all. And then we try the same with the retro thing, and the same happens. So, so that the capture card doesn't cannot deinterlace the picture. But otherwise, the The pictures are really looking the same. So here's one thing 
which is in favor of the retroting solution. So some people complain that or say that they want to have used just CRTs because the picture quality is better on those compared to the new new televisions or monitors which have a completely crisp picture. Because the CRTs have some kind of smoothing effect. So if that is the problem then you might consider if this retro thing solution would do something for you because the retro thing has this smoothing effect which can, which can be put on or off so in this pixel this is just a normal normal picture you get but then I put the smoothing effect on you see that you may see that the corners of on this picture are now a little bit smoother I don't know if this is any good. This is really a subjective, subjective thing, but this is one possibility to make this picture appear a bit, a bit like in the CRT times. So this smoothing effect is not possible to do on the OSSC, but the retro thing has this kind of meaning. So with that in mind we can go to the final thoughts. So final thoughts. Uh, if you just want to have a great picture on your television or a monitor, whichever you are using, without the capture card, then the picture quality is exactly the same on both these solutions. But in favor of the RetroTink 2X there is this smoothing effect you may want to use. This could be... It's a small thing but it edges out the OSSC in this case. But if you want to use a capture card and take uh, capture images and video out of the Amiga then, <clears throat> then the, at least with my Elgato capture card, uh, you have this uh, effect that the picture on the capture card is uh, different than on the on my television. At least, at least with my setup, this happens. So the image on the capture card is a bit dim, but this can be worked out because I can use uh, filters on my OBS studio so that so that uh, I get a little bit brighter picture and it appears the same as the picture in the television but then if you use the RetroTink solution then you have this uh, green flickering on the black background, at least on the slum tilt. And I doubt that it could be worked around. I think that's just a thing you have to accept if you're using this solution. So in that case the OSSC could be a better solution in my opinion. But anyway, this uh, these are very close to each other. Small things separate them. But anyway, that's that's what I think and that's it for me. So thanks for watching.